Warning, this video may contain foul language, discussion of sex, prostitutes, and other adult topics that might make some people squeamish. If you can't handle this, leave now, but don't bitch to me. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm an American in Bangkok. Today, a little more on visas and stuff. Uh, here's the thing. I want to talk about, I don't know, four or five things. First thing is this 90-day report. Uh, you know, there is a chance that in the future the 90-day report will be filed online. I'm not sure when. All I know is that it is under consideration. Uh, but I will say this, there's a lot of confusion over the 90-day report. And I, I, I'm going to make it as simple as possible. Okay, the 90-day report is basically the, the Thai government's way of keeping track of where you live. It wants to know your address. They want to know your address. It has absolutely nothing to do with your visa, your work permit, or anything else. All it is is an address uh, verification, if you will. They want to make sure you haven't moved, you're not moving around, or if you have, you are informing them of this. That's all it is. It's very, very simple. Right now, you can go to immigration and just fill out the paperwork and give it to them, or you can mail uh, the paperwork in to your local immigration. But I think you have to be within 150 kilometers of the immigration office. Now, the next subject, ED visas. Oh, you know, ED visas are the go-to visa, excuse me, very thirsty. Uh, they are the go-to visa for people. People who figure, oh, I've had uh, so many tourist visas or I can't get another uh, multiple entry tourist visa, I might as well get an ED visa and then I can stay for three years. Uh, immigration is aware that people are doing this. And in fact, I had a question for one officer and I asked him, listen, my friend, He's had a double, uh, a double entry tourist visa. He went out, he got another double entry tourist visa, and he's now thinking that maybe he should just get an education visa because it may be impossible or very difficult for him to get a tourist visa. And the officer said to me, this is not what the ED visa was intended for. This, it's not intended to be a visa to allow you to live in Thailand. It's intended for those who s truly want to study. And I know it's difficult to determine the intent of someone. But uh, uh, from what I know and from what I was told, the head of immigration has concrete policies in mind. And some of the policies that are already in place uh, are probably going to be more strictly enforced in the future. Uh, one of them is checking the history of visas. If you've got a history of visa exemptions and tourist visas, one right after another, after another, and then all of a sudden you, you figure, oh, I might not be able to get my tourist visa now. I better get an ED visa. They may deny you because of that. Okay. The other thing is the income. I don't know what the amount required is. I've heard anything from twenty to fifty thousand. Uh, I don't think it's fifty thousand, but uh, I've heard that much, and I'm not sure what it is. But that is another thing. If you look, if, if they were to look at a person's visa history and then say we need proof of income and we need to see money in the bank so that you can support yourself for the period of time for your visa, then that would probably eliminate at least some people. Uh, it's not for me to say whether this is good or bad, but this is the way it is and this is 
uh, what you can look forward to in the future because, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. So one other thing that, uh, one other thing that I was a little bit uh, surprised at is, you know, there's a lot of medical tourism in Thailand. And I've lived next to, I used to live next to Bumrungrad and also uh, Waitani Hospital. And uh, I always saw people from outside the country that were, they were there specifically to be treated. Now, I didn't know, but according to uh, one of the immigration officers, there are people that will say, oh, I've got vertigo, I can't leave the country yet or I've got high blood pressure, and they'll get their doctor to say, oh, no, 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 they can't travel. And I think this is something else that's going to be scrutinized. Uh, from what I was told, that is something else that's going to be scrutinized. Uh, so, uh, you know, if I could give one suggestion to people, over-prepare yourself. Have your ducks in a row. Do all you can to show that if you're going to stay uh, on a, uh, if you're going to stay for uh, as a tourist for whatever period of time, have everything that might be asked of you. If you have a son that you want to support and you're not under a uh, non-immigrant O visa, uh, then you know, uh, bring your paperwork that shows that your son indeed resides in Thailand. Uh, if you're married and you're working outside of the country and you just come and see your wife once in a while and she comes and sees you once in a while, have your paperwork. Show cash. Show your onward ticket. Do everything you can so that when you go to the border or you arrive at the airport, Maybe you're not going to be asked for anything, and it might just have been a huge pain in the ass for nothing. But you know what? It's better to be overprepared than not prepared and be denied. That's the way I see it. That's, that's my advice is be prepared. The other thing is uh, now that I've been reading Thai Visa a little bit more than usual, and I've been getting a lot of messages from people who... You know, I got a message the other day from a guy who said, oh, well, the visa exemption, now it's going to be 30 days on, uh, you're going to get a 30-day visa exemption, and now you're going to get uh, 30 days as an extension. Does that mean that I can get a tourist visa and then extend it, and then because of this new extension, I'll get another 30 days? It's like, come on, man. Listen, don't read into anything too much. Don't make up your own rules. Whatever the words say, Despite whatever you may think the history of immigration may be, whether things have changed on a drop of, at the drop of a hat or whatever you think, take them at their word. That's another piece of advice. Obviously, immigration didn't tell me to say this. Take them at their word. If they say, August 29th, we're going to give 30 days as an extension instead of seven, then take them at their word. And when August 30th comes, if that change hasn't been made, then think, okay, something must have happened. But don't go and make up your mind and say, oh, well, you know, uh, maybe that means that they're gonna have to change this new law. And if they change this law, that means it's so and so. First of all, uh, you know, if, if anybody in government, and it doesn't, it's not necessarily Thai government, if you really want to get something done, it'll get done, okay? If a senator says, I want to get this done, the chances are they're going to get it done, and they may be able to get it done quite a bit faster than you think. So I wouldn't presume to know what is coming next and what this means and what that means. And, and the other thing that really doesn't matter at all, it means nothing is how you think things should be or what you wish things would be like doesn't mean a thing. It's just wasting time. So for those who are seriously concerned about their ability to continue to stay in Thailand, I really would say 
over prepare so that if you are questioned you have your act together like somebody who values staying in the country uh, and just concentrate on what is required to get into the country and qualifying meeting those uh, meeting those requirements and you should be fine and if you're not well then obviously there's something wrong okay uh, but for now, that's all I got. So uh, there's a lot more to come. There's a lot of other stuff to come. I've got some questions into immigration and I should get them back shortly. Uh, and those questions are about uh, working online, the ED visa and all sorts of other stuff. So until next time, I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. Chokdi, la, jerk and mine.